you get, they are frozen. So you just kind of get to sit back and chew on them. In fact, I bought a box of Welch's gummies from Costco yesterday and I threw the whole thing in the freezer. While my ice cream melt. I mean, you can't just swallow them. Just be careful though, choking hazard. I, I really want to do the Stardew Valley thing today, but I need to end. No, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to start it today. Hi, Bear. We'll do like the beginning stuff. Kind of gummy vitamin swallowing how she's talking right now. <laughs> Listen, I like to live dangerously, okay? I'll fix everything else later. That, that. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Actually, I need steam running. This is a little different because I have to set stuff up for mods. So I have to have like five things open while I run this. If you can get your bears on the side, but then they don't get frozen. Catch. I promise you. And you know why I love freezing my gummy bears? Is because uh, since I'm trying to cut back on my sugars and stuff, I am enjoying them for twice as long. So I don't feel guilty about it. <laughs> Get your kappa face away from me. Don't touch me with that. <laughs> Tums feels... I've never taken Tums. I probably should. I'm going to uninstall this. I was running out of space today on my PC. How are... are is it raining a lot down there, Bear? Okay, so we have steam running. Look at this chonker of a chicken. He's like a chicken puffer fish. Can you guys see the desktop shortcut? I wasn't going to start it today, but I want to. I'm itching to start it. Oh, no. Is everything working? Hey. Ah. Stardew Valley, the first game I ever, ever streamed. I streamed it on a laptop. My audio wasn't even being outsourced correctly. It's not, it still isn't, but it's better than what it was. <laughs> so this brings me back. Um, I also hate this game. I have like roughly 2,000, 3,000 hours over multiple consoles, uh, different accounts, but I get so mad <laughs> because of what Sam and Penny did to me. So we're gonna try to right these wrongs. You remember that? That's right. Damn. Damn. So what's the land is done for you, each with its own perk. Perfect for a group. No, I want as much land as possible. Which land is that? A large amount of space for your open farm design. Can someone look that up for me, please? What is the biggest farmland I can get for farming? We're going to do puppy dog. <gasps> I can do different dogs. Oh my God. Uh, this one's the closest thing to Rudy. So we're gonna do that. Name is gonna be Nessa. Celeste, that's when I rip, I broke my controller in half, remember? The farm name is gonna be Berry Farms. My favorite thing. What's my favorite thing?
Here are a few of my cheesy bread. Cheesy bread. We're starting started out. Yeah, I was going to do it tomorrow, but I want to do it now. So there you go. When the whole town hated me. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, mean, what I like to play on a lot of high octane, but Stardew, yeah, Stardew hits differently. And I'm going to be taking Stardew and like kind of kicking it up a notch with this challenge. I am going to be covering every spot I can with strawberry, strawberry plants. Oh, energy, shut up. <laughs> no. Garlic cheesy bread. I don't think I can fit that in. Uh, all strawberries, except for the scarecrow spots, the... Um... The sprinkler spots, a few torches. You're my favorite. I'm gonna ban you so fast. Ed's gonna spin. Which one of these has the largest amount for uh, farming? Someone look it up for me. Please. Mew Center bundles. Remix? Remix! What does that mean? Guarantee one year completable? No. Mine rewards? Remix! I don't know what that means. No monster spawning on the farm. Profit margins? What's that mean? Multiplayer options? No, I'm going to be playing alone. Cabin layout? Oh, is this for multiplayer stuff? It is. Largest farm. Yeah, like the largest farm I can choose. Standard farm, riverland farm, forest farm, hilltop farm, wilderness farm, four corners farm, beach farm. I have a feeling it's the four corners farm. Yeah, like the most space so that way I can really maximize these strawberries. We're going to try to be breaking things. So what's so difficult about strawberries is that they're really expensive. So I'm going to have to be kind of smart about money. I'll do this one. I kind of like the overall fit. <laughs> Beard. <gasps> is it a dress? A dress. The standard farm is? Okay. Cool. Standard farm. We're Nessa of Berry Farms. Our favorite thing is cheesy bread. Energy. Uh, this is the closest thing to Rudy. And that looks close enough to me. Are we skipping the intro? We all know how Stardew Valley works, right? Let's go. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's -a go. Oh, it's because there's so many mods here that it kind of breaks. We did it. I don't know the controls for mouse and keyboard. Check. Okay, right mouse key. You've seen 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Spooky, hi! How are you? It's good to see you, love. You have Stardew on my Switch? I had it on my Switch. I had it on my laptop. I think there's even a mobile game. Start is everywhere. Your first Stardew playthrough? No, it's not. I'm a well-seasoned Stardew player, but we're doing a challenge where I'm going to be covering every inch of tillable land in strawberries. And I think I'm already messing up. I'm not supposed to be clearing out this area. And I don't, I think it's more beneficial if I just sell the seeds. Oh, I'm already stressing. Are strawberries seasonal? They are. Very much so. That adds a little bit more stress to it. Strawberries only grow in summer. Right now we're in spring. So I have this season to gather up as much money as I can. Oh, not only is... Or strawberry seasonal, but this is Stardew Valley expanded. 
So I have all of this area and I have like open areas here. You, you guys will see as I kind of explore. Lots and lots and lots of places have opened up. Yeah, so there's only one time of year I can buy strawberries. And I'm unfamiliar with this map in terms of it being expanded. Like, I don't know. I haven't read the patch notes or anything. I saw one of my favorite YouTubers play it. And I was like, ooh, I want to play. So here we are. I'll probably get rid of all these kegs and stuff and turn them into... Strawberry plants. This is going to be a lot of work. <laughs> uh, I also need to prep for the community center. So we're not going to be selling everything right away. We're just going to hold on to stuff so that I can see what I need to donate. Me too, Catch. That's what I was thinking. Hello? Why can't I get through here? Can I not pick up this mushroom? The best, 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 hands down... The best thing about Stardew Valley Expanded, I'll show you guys right now. You can pet the dog. You can pet Dusty. I'm so happy, finally. And he looks like such a good boy. You give Dusty many pets. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my God, that's all I needed. And we're good, we're done. <laughs> I don't know what's this way. Like this didn't used to part. It was used to be a single alleyway. What about you, Spooky? Have you played Stardew Valley before? I'm guessing you haven't. This is a this is one of those games where it's like everyone's played a little bit of it. Even on Machinist plays it. And he was like, oh my god, I love Stardew Valley. I'm also a hee hee hee. I like going through the trash cans. I'm a little trash gremlin. Like, look at all these farms. Uh, grass. I think you can get in here. Finally, a hundred hours. You must be very obsessed, spooky. Those are child's numbers. I was so lost in the sauce. I had at least two thousand hours. Thousand. I had no life. <laughs> I knew this game inside and out. Missed you. Yeah, nice to see you too. Get some love and chat for Nikki Grow on their way out. I will catch you later, my guy. Good luck with your podcast. Um, I'll probably pull up all this too. What's this magnifying glass? You played a little Stardew? It's so much fun. I'm excited to get into it more. What's all this? Fairhaven Farm? This is all part of the, the mod pack. I I don't know this. Who's this guy? Hey, friend. Andy from Joja. Would you look at that? It's that it's the new farmer everyone has been talking about. Finally moved into the valley, I see. I've been working Fairhaven Farm for many, many years. It's, it, it, it ain't much, but it's honest work. You're lucky you got that free property from your grandpa. Thanks. I know I'm lucky. Okay, he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Whoa, he has a big house. Look at his footsteps. Garbage can reeks. Rotten food is spilling out of the can. The oven hasn't been cleaned in forever. Hmm. Wonder if we can befriend him. And we're gonna pull up all of his stuff too and plant strawberries if we can. Thanks for the lurk night. You've only gotten as far as year two winter. <gasps> I've, God, I'm trying to remember when I stopped playing. It was when, well, it was after the divorce <laughs> and everything went down. The remains of a campfire, but I don't think I did a whole lot with the witch.
You didn't even finish year one? Why? I had almost caught every fish too. Um, do we want 100% this? Ooh, big cauliflower. What is this? Pause everything. Step on the brakes. Hang on. What is this? <gasps> Think of all the cauliflower rice this could make, chat. You think to yourself that maybe, just maybe, there's something magical about this place. You think, yeah. With a cauliflower that's three times your size, I would guess that something isn't quite right here. Is it magic or is it radioactivity? We will never know. We're gonna have to fish in this lake to see for sure. Take water samples. See the nuclear fallout. For Disney Dreamlight and then left that for Fortnite. I'm going to be starting Dreamlight as well. That will probably happen with a mix of Stardew Valley. Children. Jazz. Night! Thank you for the biddies. Yo, my alerts look so good. I'm so proud of them. You play the Disney Dreamlight thing too, Spooky? I got it as a gift from uh, Christmas. Someone wasn't nice enough to give it to me. Genie, actually. And I've been meaning to record it. I just wanted to take care of a few other things first. Oh my God. This is gonna take all day. We need to clean this out. I was a I was huge in the mines during my first playthrough. I had the best weapons. Knew all the best recipes. Is basically Stardew. No, it's kind of like Stardew meets Animal Crossing meets Disney. From what I understand, from what I've seen gameplay of. Be gone, pesky grass. Okay, we need a game plan because I'm already... I, I feel the OCD kicking in. I'm going to clear out all the grass first. <gasps> but I should probably check. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to see what... Harvestables there are. Because I don't want to miss out on any good... Stuff for the community center. <laughs> like sell a leak. Um, and then I'm going to clear out all the rocks, cut down all the trees, make chests to store all of that. I should probably make chests now. 50 wood. Maybe I should do the wood now so that I have that. Hmm. Let's do that first. But I have to be careful too because my stamina. Oh. I'm not going to plant the parsnips because they sell for way more and I should be saving as much money as I can so I can buy as many strawberry seeds as I can. You highly recommend it. I'm so excited. I saw that you can get Ratatouille in the game, like and have him live in your little town. And that was it. I... I'm fully dedicated to immersing myself in the Disney Dream Valley lifestyle. <laughs> I'm, I'm such a Disney head. I was going to make a video before COVID, like a little vlog of me at Disneyland and counting how many birds there are in the park. Like all the birds in the Tiki Room, all the birds, like Donald, count him in the parade, how many times he shows up in parades. And then um, they closed for COVID. And didn't open up for a couple years. I was like, well, there goes that vlog idea. I still can. My annual pass, I think, expires soon. And I'm not going to be renewing it. Because they're going to be doing a lot of renovations. And it just doesn't seem worth it. But as soon as I get it back, maybe that'll be an idea for another day. You, I, yes, you can get Remy the Rat. I'm so excited. Oh my god, you can get Remy the Rat. <sighs> my heart, my soul, you have no idea. <laughs> The perfect mix of Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing. The only like bummer thing about Animal Crossing is that I feel like 
the villagers were kind of milk toast. In the other games, they were kind of spicy and salty. In this game, they were pretty boring. So I'm uh, I'm really excited to see or to play Dreamlight. You get villagers. I can. You can also customize your whole. Yeah, you can customize everything. Oh, you guys! I'm so excited. This is a good way to start off my new YouTube adventures, though. I want to do fun little playthroughs of some of my favorite games that I've been wanting to play, and just having a good time and getting immersed and lost in this world. E e crafting. Oh, how much wood do I need? I'm all, I, I don't have enough wood. I miss the sound of Stardew Valley so much. I'm so glad to be playing this game again. You play it too, Fennis? They've added Stitch, I'm done. I'm done. Are you serious? Uh oh. I think I want this plant over here. There we go. Bedtime. time. You love Stitch as a Snoopy? I'll make sure to get Stitch in my valley just for you. Stitch was in the latest update? Oh my god! Okay, I'm, 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 I'm beyond excited. <laughs> I, I'll probably mix it up tomorrow. I'll do half Stardew Valley and then half Dreamlight. Wally is your favorite. His house ugly as fuck, but he's adorable. That's okay. His house can go in the corner. Wally's too cute not to have. I don't know if I can, if I can stand this. Like my, my brain might just explode from how overloaded of cute it's gonna be. God, I'm starving. I I didn't really eat today because my morning was so weird. So normally every morning I take Rudy to the dog park, but today it's raining like crazy, so no dog park. So I was gonna walk him around Petco and I'm down the street and I have to turn back because he's throwing up like dry heaving in the back of the car. It's nothing but bile. And I'm like, no, Rudy. And he's like shitting himself in the car. And I'm like, oh, God. OK, let's turn you around right now. You're sick. So I've I've kind of been monitor monitoring him all day. And he's been putting everything in his mouth. So I don't know if he ate something he wasn't supposed to. I'm scared. Buenas tardes, hey unknown, how's it going? How's work treating you? The smell, yeah. I mean, I'm not one to be turned off very quickly by smell. I was more, I was in mama mode, worried that my dog was dying. Trash can. So I was just hoping that he was okay. And so I've kind of been monitoring him slowly just to make sure everything's okay. And he seems fine now, but I neglected my own needs and forgot to eat. Can I not move this closer? Oh, how do I edit? There we go. I feel like it's too far away from my farm base. Oh, am I just too far away? There we go. I think I do need, I think I do need to plant the parsnips to get something for the community seminar. Damn it. 
Oh, it's been so long since I played this. My brain isn't working. And then we'll go harvesting. Foraging? Foraging. I'm doing well, Unknown. So you heard all about Rudy. I'm also doing a challenge where every part of this farmland is going to be nothing but strawberries. So stay tuned for the strawberry apocalypse. This is the biggest farm I could have chosen. And this is Stardew Valley expanded, so it's modded. I spent the morning trying to figure it out because I kept breaking it. And I had to repair it from the last time I broke it. Fear throwing up or even being around it, hearing it, anything. Oh, do you? I'm sorry. I will not mention it again. I will say something else. <laughs> but, but Rudy's doing a lot better now. I don't know what happened to him, but he's fine. He's just a baby boy. You know, he had squid yesterday, and I wonder if that set off his tummy. It wasn't seasoned or anything, but it's what I had for lunch. Um, sticks. Here. In the expanded start of just so you know, can't remember his name, but when you see him, you'll know. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. No, Caitlin, you cannot tempt me. I'm trying to be good. No marriage. Unless. No. I'm to be a lowly, humble farmer. You're an enabler. Don't. No attempt to no, no. I shan't, shan't marry a soul. She'll live with my life on this farm, single as a Pringle. Smooching whoever I want to smooch. Nothing's holding me down. Is it Linus? Don't marry him, just date him. But what if we fall in love? What if it was meant to be? What if we're soulmates? Then I'm going to have to marry him. That's just how the world works. I'm checking around to make sure I'm not missing out on foraging opportunities. Loop. There's Abigail. Abigail's always been my least favorite. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. You're old. Mm, no, something about her just rubs me the wrong way. Don't be so mean. <laughs> but if you don't know what the stars have in store for me, uh, I don't think I can get these. Wait, this is new. Wait, he's here? Victor? Where'd he go? I didn't look. I wasn't looking. I was reading chat. Oh, is he not here? Maybe I missed it. Oh, you looked it up. You skipped. Is that him? Is this Victor? This is part of the expanded bit. This is huge. We have a lot of strawberries to plant. Oh my God. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, hey there. You're the new owner of Berry Farm. I'm Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nessa, is it? Hi. <laughs> oh no. Well, let's keep talking, Victor. What do you, what, you have nothing to say? So tight-lipped all of a sudden? Hmm? And he's got money? Well, well, well. Let me just change out of these overalls into something a little bit more fancy. All right, I see you, Victor. Don't you go anywhere. Oh, I can't. I'll need to install the Grampleton Fields add-on to visit this area. I did, didn't I? Yo, that Taco Bell wedding is going to be upgraded to a Wendy's wedding. He's leaving me. 
Does he live somewhere? Does he have his own house? I'm going to stalk him for just a little bit. No one judge me. Okay, it's it's fine. I'm just going to see where he's going. Four for four dollars. Is that a Wendy's thing? I've never been to Wendy's. Oh, he's taking his time here. Okay, I'm... Mm. Where does he live? Look at all these little farms. This is so pretty. I'm supposed to be harvesting. Does walking take up my energy? Notes for the cops? Okay, you do that. And I'm going to stalk Victor. <laughs> go through trash cans you like spaghetti bet i i can make such great spaghetti i'll make the noodles from scratch for this boy shane shane was my first uh person that i pursued if you will but what do you want go away you go away shane can't fix you wait is this his house no this is the Whoa, who's this? Oh, I, hang on. You guys didn't tell me about Olivia. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? Welcome to the valley, dear. It's so exciting when someone new moves in. Well, <laughs> hi, Olivia. It's nice to meet you too. I'm Nessa, new to Stardew Valley. This. Wait, that's his house? Who's... Oh no, are they married? Who is this? Have you met my son, Victor? Are you kidding me? This is her, his mother? chat i i'm i'm blushing i'm so happy i don't have my webcam on right now olivia is victor's mother we i think i'm gonna be milf hunting <laughs> uh you can put the cameras away okay i'm i'm gonna be clipping this Oh my god. Oh. 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 My soul. Should we have a camera emote? Might do one. I'm starting to already feel a little incriminated. Oh. I can't. I'm all hot and bothered. Well, I will talk to you later, Mrs. Miss? Mrs.? Is there a Mr.? Victor? Have you met in town yet? Yeah, Robin. Hello. I have no time. Yes. Yes, Olivia is his mother. My God, what a woman. And then there's uh, Pierre. I've always wanted to pursue Pierre. He seemed like a really good choice too. Like, nice, good man. Sweet. Hey, it's Miss Nessa, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll always buy produce from you for a good price. I don't know. He seemed cool. And his mom. Oh, damn. I've seen these videos before. I mean, let's go harvesting. <laughs> Can't. What is this game? I'm so embarrassed right now. Ew, Penny. I'm not talking to Penny or Sam. You can forget it. Oh, Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here at Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. I like Emily too. She's nice. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chief owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Hello, Gus. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Actually, if I'm gonna like 100% Pam, I need to talk to her daughter, right? 
Shoot. Well, I'll only talk to her as much as I need to. Landscaping is tiring. Is that what you did today at work, Super Monkey? I'm so glad you met Victor already. I'm I'm blushing. I'm beet red. I can't believe that the designers of this mod made him so flabbergasted. Oh, okay. Getting your hands dirty. I'm about to get my knees dirty for Olivia. And Victor was right, nice right away. <laughs> Shane could never. I feel like I'm still in the mindset that like I can fix Shane. And I know all of like their backstories and stuff. But it, 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 it tells you like I'm, I'm such a motherly person. I'm very caring of people willing to overlook many, many faults. Yeah, I picked Sam too. So I picked Sam and then I ran into an issue in that I think I skipped a few people's gameplays because I just like beelined for Sam. And I skipped so much that a lot of the events happened out of order. So while Sam and I were engaged, he was cuddling up with Penny in the trees and then the next day we got married. So I was heartbroken, to say the least. And then I couldn't get him to be a happy spouse, no matter like all of the best gifts I would give him. I'm talking with my hands. I'm so mad. <laughs> my mouse was off to the side just because I'm like exclaiming with my right hand. Um. He he was not happy. He would always mope around and be like, I'm going to my mother's. I'm mad at you, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm like, what, what did I do? So I ended up getting a divorce. And then the whole town was angry at me. And I'm like, bruh, what do you want from me? This is such an awful game. I didn't even want to get married in the first place. This was after the thousands of hours I put in because I wanted to like uh, max out the grandpa statue. Uh, so I ended up getting divorced and then the whole town hated me. So I had to ask the witch to erase everybody's memory. And I went back to Sam and he was like, oh, he goes, you are so sadly familiar. I was like, Sam, why? Why, Sam? Like, I could have been a better spouse. I could have been more patient. I'm sorry, Sam. <sighs> anyway, this is why I don't play this game anymore. <laughs> this is why I'm not getting married. Not in this game. I'm going to be single Pringles and I'm going to just... I'm going to admire Victor and Olivia from afar. Work's calling it. Yeah, no worries, unknown. I might, I might call it here before we get any further. I think that was a lot of excitement. Escape? No. How do I open up the menu again? Ooh, how do I save? How do I save? Okay, cool. I'm gonna get rid of all these so I don't accidentally confuse them. All right, I'm so excited to start our Stardew Valley experience. Eee! Um, I'm gonna be making like a bunch of TikToks and other videos about it. I'm really knowledgeable at Stardew, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. I am starving, though. My stomach has been growling this whole Stardew Valley portion of the stream. But I'll catch you guys tomorrow. More Stardew Valley. I might dip my toes into Dreamlight because I'm really, really, really curious. 
Uh, but for the most part, tomorrow is going to be mostly Stardew Valley. So until tomorrow, I'm not going to raid anyone. It's because I need foods. I need sustenance. Eat a potato. Uh, I have a sandwich that I just kind of want to like shove into my face. So I will do that. And we'll see more of Berry Farms tomorrow. But potato? I don't have potato. I have a yam. You want to give me a yam? We can yam it up. No yams? Potatoes? 